away by turbo. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A uh, bit of a different video today. I've got one of my colleagues' cars here and we are going to take it out for a bit of a drive. Dan, who is uh, kind of our day-to-day -day manager at Barrow Motors, has got a pretty awesome Ford Fiesta ST180. I'm pretty glad I managed to say that right because I keep saying Focus or Fiat or something. Um, but it's no longer 180, which means it's 108 horsepower. This is modified and over 400 horsepower. So it's a bit of a beast. Um, I don't really know too much about the modifications to be done to this to get like over twice the horsepower out of it. Dan's here with us. Dan can probably give us a quick rundown um, of what the mods are on this thing. Um, obviously, wheels jump out. What are the wheels, Dan? Uh, they're Momos. I don't know the exact model. Um, they're 16 inch Momos. Um, oh, sorry, 17 inch Momos. I do, I do apologize. Um, they're just a bit nicer than the standard wheels, I think. A bit lighter weights, but they are standard fitment. Just suit the vehicle itself, I think. Yeah, something that stands out because they've all, all the Fiesta SDs have got those same sort of yeah, the, the, wheels on it, so it just looks like it stands out and yeah. had some work done. They, they it's not, it's not a massive Aggressive, I think, is probably the. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's looks like being white with a maximum design split. Yeah, yeah. yeah Do you have any other bits on it, like designs? Um, everything else in regards to bodywork is, is, is standard. It's just all the, uh, the, the SP um, body panels. They look smart as they do from standard anyway. Just the front splitter just makes it look a little bit more lower at the front end. Um, but they normally come with black mirror caps? Yeah, black mirror caps all on, on SPs. Um, some people have different colour badges, but no, otherwise it's all completely standard on the outside. I think there's quite a nice looking car from battery. And it's, it's the SD2, isn't it? So yes. It's like half leather. Yeah, so still got heated seats and things. Yeah, yeah, so same seats as the SD3, just it doesn't have the, the sat nav and it doesn't have the automatic wipers and the headlights. But not exactly too much to miss. Um, I thought you prefer that, right? Yeah, so yeah. I didn't buy it as a, as a luxury car. I thought it would go and have some fun and remind me of being a teenager. Has it still got a uh, cruise control? It does have cruise control, yes. I yeah, can yeah, own yeah. It. So it can't crumble there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then performance wise, let's say it, you, it's been wrong road and it's passed over 400. Yeah, only just over 400. It was okay. 402 on the rollers. Um, oh, which, is, <laughs> which is obviously more than double what it came with from uh, from factory. What do you think they weigh? Like, it can't be much more. Oh, than yeah, it's going to be just over. Uh, I don't yeah. know. The, I don't know the official figures. Um, but Pretty yeah. lively in a little lightweight. Front Very front lively car. in a in a front wheel drive car. Yeah. Um, so turbo-wise, what's the turbo? So it's got an X57R uh, turbo from Puma Speed on there. Okay, um, cool. A full Miltec exhaust system with some turbo back. Um, it's got a Puma Speed triple core radiator on there uh, and a Puma Speed uh, thermostat, which is slightly lower rated um, opening rate. Um, we also Something have got a massive air tech. Yeah, really big old uh, stage three air tech intercooler. Um, it's got a Puma Speed block mod as well to try and stop it from uh, from overling the head as such. A couple of ARP head studs to keep the head all down. And a lot of boost. Yeah, um, what, what bar? Uh, so we are 2.1 bar, so just over 30 psi of boost um, for a 1.6 Fiesta. It's, um, yeah, the ARP head studs are doing their work as yeah, such. Yeah. Um, um, and then on the outside, it's been lowered on a set of HSE coilovers with external reservoirs, drilled and grooved uh, brakes all around, and a slightly uh, aggressive brake pad. But otherwise, it's a pretty normal looking car. Sweet. Well, it's new one, so I can't drive it. And I know that it's pretty, uh, pretty lively, so yeah. I'm looking forward to getting out and driving it. Let's go out and see how she does. This has to be like the most choo-choo noise car I've ever heard. Oh yeah. And loads of dump valve stuff. My favourite's uh, going uphill under load in a high gear. Right. It's um, the deep or? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's sometimes a bit obnoxiously loud. That is the only problem with this car if you're driving it normally, is that everyone thinks you're driving really fast. Yeah, I suppose if you're running, what is it, like 20 psi? Yeah. No, oh, sorry, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 psi. 30 psi. <sighs> So it's really rubbish in slow traffic. People in Kia, like Picantos and stuff, to drive away from you. Otherwise, you come into boost and end up right on their bumper. All uh, right. Or if you're following the old boy in his Ford Cougar and he's just trying to pull away from you, it always sounds like you're then trying to go for a really aggressive yeah. overtake. 
Well, it is one of those like Asbo cars, isn't it? Oh yeah, hundred percent Asbo car. It's quite nice. That's that kind it's, of what um, you want, though. I mean, it's still nice. It's like kind of feels modern. And yeah. It's easy to drive. And, and actually, the exhaust isn't. No, no, it's not like it's not droney, like obnoxious. No. And no pop bang remap. Oh yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> essential. None of that rubbish. Is it uh, like what's the dump valve? Do you know? Uh, so it's a turbo smart um, wastegate on wastegate, it. Wastegate. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, the car's a little bit bouncy, but it's not crazy uncomfortable. It'll probably get when these are bouncy roads. Yeah. Does it get any nerves, or yeah. you, you're quite used to it. Um, I mean, I very rarely drive down roads like this. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not the most uh, economic of vehicles. Um, uh, what is your sort of average MPG? If I'm cruising on the motorway, around the 30 mark. But if you're wanting to do a bit of spirited driving, we're down in the sort of nine to ten master gallon, which yeah, yeah. is painful. That's not too bad because I was I was driving the Porsches the other day doing that video and thinking, oh, these are showing up like they're doing thirty miles per gallon. That's actually not bad at all. I mean, this uh, is is doing that same sort of performance. Oh yeah. But actual power performance, probably walk all over those Porsches. So Porsches, sorry. Porsches. <laughs> yeah, but the Porsche is far more refined. Um, yeah, yeah, a whole different kettle of fish. But yeah, it's chalk and cheese, but still. This uh, poor thing, when you put the foot, when you put your foot down, does feel like it's uh, right on the limit. Power to fuel input ratio, you're doing quite well in this compared yeah. to, like, because it's only a 1.6 to get some turbocharged, versus like a 3.8, literally. You know, oh yeah, naturally double. aspirated Porsche. Yeah, it's not bad going. It is quite nice to have a car that is such a small engine and. Uh, you can give some of the bigger cars a it run for money. It surprises a lot of people, doesn't it? Who yeah. like you take them for a lift or, you know. Yes. Yeah, it does certainly. Or um, you know, pull away from them in traffic or something. Yeah. Yes, it's normally a passenger with a strange face, kind of not realizing quite how well it goes. <laughs> but you do sort of notice every noise and banging cars like this. Especially when you have got them so highly tuned, you are. Do you say every noise in banging cars like this? <laughs> no, every, <laughs> in banging cars like this, yeah. What tyres have you got on it? So you've got, you've got Pilot Sports on this, haven't you? No, no, no. So I've got um, uh, Rain Sport. Fives. Oh, Rain Sports, yeah, not Pilot Sports, sorry. Yeah, Rain Sport 5s in the front and Rain Sport 3s on the rear. So the front are the same ones that we have got on the Civic track car. Yeah, yeah. And we just like melted one track and I feel like you're having the same thing, like. Yeah, I would say my experience of the of the uh, Rain Sport 5s over the 3s is not a good one. Yeah, um, yeah. quite soft like sidewall, so you feel like you're. Yeah, like I like the forward roll. grip. The forward bite is, is lovely, but the, um, the side to side, um, at the lower speeds, not noticeable. At the higher speeds, it's they don't, they're not very inspiring. Yeah. Uh, which is very similar to how the, um, the Civic started to feel once they had warmed up. Yeah. Just blow my turbo. On that pull then? On the way back. Oh really? I'm pretty sure that's my turbo just. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to tell much from here, but I think I've just done my oil seals. Whoopsies! So has it got no power now or what? Uh, it's got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we can drive back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got enough to drive back, and it doesn't matter about whoever's following us getting covered in smoke. Let's go. Uh, typical. <laughs> <laughs>
Shit. How many horsepower do you reckon it's got now? <laughs> it can't even get to do a draggy. Let, let I feel really bad now. I feel like I owe Dan a turbo probably. No. Turbo seals or something. After, after, uh, it's probably got less than 180 done. <laughs> Sounds like a lawnmower. Fortunately, you can just build new buying cores and stuff, even though it's a aftermarket jobby. Maybe you don't mind me filming. No, 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 I don't mind at all. Probably be the most popular video I could ever do. <laughs> We've killed it. So you did one. You did one drive by like we filmed, and yep. then coming back, you were going to do the same, or yeah, I was going to give it another blast straight past. Uh, did a first gear change, and um, into second gear, it decided to uh, go bang. Um, pretty well, sure. You, you thought that might be on the way anyway, so it's going to happen at one point, or just because it's such so much power. It's just it's it's pushing it. I don't know the full life of the turbo that's on the car. I I will admit it wasn't a new turbo when I put it on there. Um, it was a second hand unit. Car used to have an X47R on there, um, very similar, just a slightly upgraded unit. Um, so I don't know what kind of a life this had previously. Um, and having it up at the kind of power we are, it's um, it's inevitable, really. It's going to happen at some point. Yeah. So what is involved? With, is it hard to get the turbo off this thing? Um, no, fortunately, turbo is in a really, really nice place. It's just just next to the driver's uh, driver's wheel. Um, it is behind the engine, but very accessible. Um, so we'll whiz it off and pretty sure it's a set of seals that have gone. I'm currently dusting the car behind us with uh, a nice plume of smoke. I'm sure they appreciate the smells. But this kind of comes part and parcel of having something that's... Um... You could have waited until we've done the fucking Auto 60 drag <laughs> run. Uh, see, it was, it, was, it was too worried. It was worried it was going to get shown up by yeah. uh, a naturally aspirated car. By the 320D, who we just done a video <laughs> This is Sod's Law, but only, only a car for more than a year, and the majority of that year has been off the road. Yeah. Oh, well, it will, we'll, we'll, at least we get to do a follow-up video now. Yeah, like, yeah, when yeah, yeah. Back, we can do a... In a minute, it might be quicker. We'll fix that, yeah. <laughs> Maybe do some more mods. And then... So everyone now needs to get in the comments, tell Dan A to get his car fixed, B that he should come and do track days with us. Oh. Obviously he comes to track days, but he needs to get this car booked on the track day because we've got a 200 horsepower Civic and Dan's got a 400 horsepower Fiesta. Like, it's, had. You know, he had a 400 horsepower had. Fiesta. He's now got an 80 horsepower lawnmower. It doesn't sound the greatest, but hey, it's well, still here. That's a premature ending to this video. I hope you enjoyed the video more than Dan did. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll give you an update and let you know what happened. See you in the next video. Cheers, guys.